Hey yo, mic check. It's Mighty Mouse in this bitch. And fuck John Jones. Fuck Ray Borg, I'm about to knock him out. I'ma move up, invite TJ, I'ma shut that nigga's mouth. Shut his mouth. And fuck John Jones, I'm the number one pound for pound. While you was out saying blasting hoes, I was defending my crown. I'm at the house, smoking Kush, playing Xbox. Ray Borg think he fucking with me, boy, you need to just stop. I'm about to beat your ass till I make the ref stop. Sniper gang, start the TKO with the headshot. Back to the daily grind, thanks for checking out the channel. Make sure to hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy cause you know what time it is, it's full time. MMA. What is up everybody, I am, I mean this is gonna be a long video I'm telling you right now so buckle in, buckle motherfucking in. There's gonna be a lot of stuff that happens on this video man, a lot of stuff. But at the end I put together a best of fantasy fights and the fucking rap battles that I've done in the past. I know I haven't done any in a long time, man. I've been swamped with this channel. Um, I, I'm, I'm, you know, the channel's under construction. I've been upgrading the channel constantly since it came into conception, and that's not gonna stop, man. This shit is pretty much my fucking new life. So, right now I'm swamped, man. I got a lot of grunt work I'm doing myself. I don't got nobody helping me, you know. I ain't got no fucking grunts to do grunt work, so I gotta do that on top of stay up on the news, on top of do the predictions, on top of do the fucking, you know, fights, results, on top of all of that. So, I haven't had time for much fan fights. I haven't had time for much rap battles. I haven't had time, you know, you know, any anything really, anything outside of what I've been doing. If you didn't know how the channel is under construction, what I'm planning on doing for upgrading the channel, I'm in the process of, um, fi first of all, figuring out how to get all of this broadcasting really going, you know, the live streaming with the with the chat and all of that to where, I mean, I, I've been trying to improve my computer, but mainly how I'm improving the entire channel is instead of just having st pictures, I'm going to have GIFs and little clips of every single fighter, really, current fighter, because, I mean, every fighter I can, there's so many fighters, it's really hard to do, so I've only got, like, five seven to seven, you know, Cody Garber and TJ Dillashaw, Joanna, Conor McGregor, you know, just the, fight, what, what, the fighters that have had events recently. You know, I've been working on them, and as fighters have fights booked, the co-main events and co-main events, I'm just going to take it slow. So, with that being said, the channel's under construction. I'm trying to go to video over still picture, you know, to give you something to look at while you're watching instead of just a fucking still picture. Go from just audio to audio and video. You can either just listen to it, and you got something to watch if you want to fucking tune in. So, with that being said, I don't even know how much of an upgrade that really is. You know, it's it's minor, but still. I know some people have suggested it, and also, you know, I'm a fan of another big YouTuber. His name is DJ Academics. He pretty much does this, but for hip-hop and, you know, music and entertainment. So, but he uses, he doesn't just do a still picture. That, that still picture shit came from the old dude. You know, that was kind of the style. I had to learn all of this shit on the fly, you know what I'm saying? If you didn't know how the channel started, I started by just listening to an old YouTube channel. The dude shut his channel down, thought he could charge 20 a month for his opinion. I said, well, shit, I ain't got 20 a month, so what I'm going to do is just put my opinion out here and kind of take that concept and just expand it. So that's what I've been doing. I didn't have any equipment to start. I had a terrible microphone, man. Fucking, I, it's, it's been a... I, I was... I've been in debt since I started the channel because it was so spontaneous, you know, it's not like I just planned on going into business and starting a YouTube channel, you know, putting this many hours and dedicating this much time to a whole new endeavor, but I've been making it work, I'm, you know, and I ain't, I ain't never asked for a donation, I've never did any of that, I've never begged, none of that shit, now, I am on this video going to, you know, let you guys know some things and some goals I have for the channel. And I'm still not going to ask for a donation, but I don't want to hear in the comments, oh, you're turning into quick hits. No, I'm fucking not. I'm not, I'm not one of those guys where you have to fucking donate for me to keep going. No, 
this is something that w whether or not I ever get another donation, I'm going to keep doing this. We, you know, I have been getting a few donations, which I'm very thankful for. I didn't ask for them. They weren't expected. They helped uh, fucking greatly, though. Because as I said, when I started this channel, man, I had a payday loan out. My dog got parvo. My car broke down. I wasn't even planning on this. I was just, I'm, I'm still just a fucking master of the custodial arts. I'm not a master of the mixed martial arts. I'm a master of the custodial arts, dog. I work full time fucking and and work is slow as fuck right now because i'm not hired on full time but i am i have potential to work full time when there is work but right now the work's been slow and i'm i'm not fully hired on i just do i'm pretty much an independent contractor so i only work when there is work now usually there's work but there's been a lot more people hired on lately so work's been slow so i've just been dedicating all this time to the channel i mean Luckily for me, I got in a car accident, and I say luckily because nobody was hurt, and my car was breaking down anyway, and it was not my fault, so I got a $750 check for the car, because that's all it was worth. I'm driving a 1995 motherfucking Buick Park Avenue, I'm telling you the struggle is real, but that don't mean shit, dog. that's what I come from, so I ain't worried about that, I can take this as slow as it goes, like I said, I don't need no donations, I'm never gonna beg for a donation, but really the main reason I'm bringing this video to you guys is because my dog Aaron Burrell, who has been the biggest contributor, the biggest donator to the fucking channel, um, he donated not too long ago and it was to help get a battery for my computer. Because with the streaming and, you know, I, I'm using a really old computer, you know, right now. Uh, I've been doing the research because the battery, I ordered the battery, for, you know, a $20 battery, a replacement battery. Because my one of my computers plugged in, man, it always has, it says it's on 0% and says the battery's not charging. So I figured it might just be a dead battery. So I replaced the battery and it still didn't work. 0% not charging. So I fucking replaced the charger, like, okay, it must be the charger. Well, I get the charger, a new charger for another fucking 20 bucks, boom, still 0% not charging. So it comes to find out my fucking computer is just too old and shitty. Um, it's Right now, you can get this computer for fucking $99 on eBay. I did the research to Dell Inspiron 1545. It's old, but it does the job as far as making these videos and audio, so I'm good on that. But since we've been trying to move the channel into broadcasting, you know, live streaming, maybe doing fight companions, you know, um, all type of stuff, Re live reaction videos to trailers that come out to fights, you know, I, like I, I got so many ideas and, and just things that we can do with the channel that are, you know, all going to happen in the future. Live call in shows, kind of like a radio show, you know, we can do all types of things, but I just don't got the equipment and I've never, I'm, there's no one in my fucking family that's got a business or no shit like that. So I've got no clue if I even qualify for like a fucking mini business loan of like, 500 bucks or something to help me get a computer you know what i'm saying I, i've never i don't know anybody that's ever did that so I, I i really don't know how to go about that or even if i can i mean i've got some fucking i don't i don't know i don't got terrible credit and shit but i just don't know anything about that type of stuff that's not my fucking forte so one thing i have you know i do know about is crowdfunding you know on platforms like twitch and youtube and gofundme and stuff you know with, like donations and stuff that shit does work now, and I know people do donate, and I've seen a lot of people recently, that's another reason I'm doing this, they've been asking how to donate, they ask whenever I'm live streaming, why I don't have the super chat on, or the donate button, and that's because we had to deal with a lot of trolls, so right now I can't fucking stream on my main channel, which I'd be able to turn on the super chat, and I do have a PayPal button, but a lot of people act like they can't find it, I have it on the, you know, they always ask, and I say that because they, they always ask, how do I donate, how do I donate, and I've got like multiple ways, but I'm not, I don't advertise them, I don't ask for it, so if you can't find it, you're probably not going to know how to, but i um, Polly crying Malinagi, I know you in particular have been asking a lot lately how to donate. You know you can do that and I wouldn't ask, but it's in the um, comment or it's in every comment section, like in the video description, not in the comment section, but in the video description and on the main page. But what I'm doing now, aside from that, is I'm not asking for donations, but a lot of people have been really asking for fantasy fights and asking for, you know, rap battles and anticipating shit like that and asking when I'm bringing it back and 
So what I wanted to do is extend the opportunity if if you guys really want to, want to hear it or something, or if you want to help the cause, what I'm doing and I'm sharing this with all my friends and family too. I don't I don't know if they're gonna be able to help. I fucking got a lot of broke ass people in my family. That's but that's all good. It is what it is. And I got a small ass family. You know, just my immediate family, my brother, my mom, a couple cousins. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got too many people around. So. Um, with that being said, I'm actually going to, you know, this is just something I'm working toward. It can last a year. It can last two months. It can last, um, two years. I don't even know if it's going to get filled. I'm just going to put it at the end of the videos, a little segment, uh, you know, of reminding what I'm working toward is a computer, you know, a working computer so we can start broadcasting, streaming, doing companions and all of that type of shit. I got to get a decent computer. And right now the computer I'm using, like, it fucking if it moves it'll everything shuts down it doesn't matter if i'm in the middle of making a video if i'm in the middle of working it doesn't matter if my computer moves it's liable to shut down if my cord moves because i've got a messed up charger port so if my charger slips out for any reason the computer just dies because the battery's stuck on zero percent and it doesn't charge and I'm not in a position to buy that shit myself. I just now paid off my payday loan with my car getting totaled. I used that money to pay off my payday loan because they've been hitting me every two weeks. Motherfucking $60 every two weeks. And that's just to pay the interest on the payday loan. It was like 4 bucks. And then I would, I, it would overdraft me so it would be $90 every two weeks. And it's not even paying off the payday loan. It's just like a $90 bill for nothing every two weeks. So I had to get that taken care of. I owed my brother some money. I still do. But that was from for the park and shit but everything is working itself out the last couple of weeks i got to work a lot so that helped out but now it's looking like work slowing back down um i still am yet to get any fucking i haven't got one dollar yet from any of these ads i know you guys watch the ads to support the channel but i haven't got any of that money yet because adsense has really been fucking me i mean they're talking about i have to verify my address which i did a couple times but those channels didn't count those channels got shut down and they kept that money this channel it says I'm up to like three hundred dollars in ad money but I'm still waiting on the mail to confirm the address last time it only took a week this time it's been about four weeks and I still haven't got the mail so I've got to wait two weeks and then maybe reapply so I don't know when I'm gonna start getting money from ads but I know that will come in the future so that's something I'm, I'm gonna use definitely to help fucking you know just upgrade the channel any money I fucking get bro that's not paying my rent is gonna be upgrading the channel. I wanna get a computer, I want you know, the microwave, he's getting more comfortable coming in here and you know, doing video streams. He hopped on the video stream the other day, you guys probably saw him on Full Time MMA 2 when we were doing that live stream. So, you know, we wanna get two microphones, we wanna get the, we wanna get this shit rolling, man. This is, this is pretty much my fucking future, dog. So this is what I plan on doing, this is what I wanna do. I mean, I got my other job, I plan on working that full-time and this full-time. Anytime there's hours open for that, I got to work there because that's actual money. You know, this is just something I can work on, but it's not paying me anything as of right now. I do get those donations. You know, my boy Aaron Burrell's really been coming through every month. You know, he hit me with a big donation. But, you know, other than that, it's been slow. And I, I ain't asking nobody for no fucking donations. I know we're still small. I only got 2,000 subscribers. I do got a million views, but, I mean, that's just, that's just a small, you know, small stepping stone. A million views ain't shit right now that just you know that just shows the work we've been putting in so the full-time family is going to continue to grow i'm going to get this fucking computer what with or without a donation but i just wanted to give you guys the opportunity and let you guys know i'm up in the process of upgrading the channel that's why i can't do no fantasy fights or rap battles or anything extra you might ask for even if on bellator predictions or something if you got anything you really want to hear from me or want me to cover if i don't have time for if you throw me a fucking donation, dog, I'll definitely get to it. Honestly, if you fucking email me and you're broke as fuck, you know, I'm probably still going to do it. You know, especially the day one hitters. If anybody emails me, I'm probably going to do it for free anyway. But I'm just saying, if you, except for like the rap battles and fantasy fights. But if you want me to do some Bellator predictions or rap battles or fantasy fights, man, throw me a small donation. Throw it toward the, the laptop fund. I'm trying to get a new computer to help the channel. Hey, it'll help greatly, and I'll definitely get that done, man. I like doing those. I just haven't had time for the extra stuff lately, so thanks for listening to this. Thanks for considering it, man. I put a lot of effort into this video and to making this best of. I'm going to... 
play it now it's it's you know enjoy man i cut it up you ain't gotta I, I just put in like some of the snippets you know i don't have any of the full things it's just pieces of some of the fantasy fantasy fights and snippets of some of the battle raps we've done in the past leading up to this this point you know so hey if you want you want anything i already said it man let me know um i'm not asking for a donation but hey if you do want a fantasy fight or something like that uh, it would be greatly appreciated i would get that done for you because i'm trying to get upgrade the channel and i'm willing to fucking work for it so it is what it is man let the full-time family know what the fuck you time at in the comments and take a listen to these snippets and fucking I'm sure you're, I'm sure you'll probably fucking laugh your ass off at least five times, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I'm out. Hey, shitty boy Floyd, you know I'm the fucking king. Bet you wouldn't be so pretty if I knocked out your fucking teeth. You can bring the money team and whoever you want to bring. It don't matter, I'm going to slap them if they step in front of me. They call me Conor McGregor, bitch, always onto some better shit. Beat your ass and then I laugh as I watch you struggle to get a bitch. Always after my cheddar, bitch, I get them laughing like Letterman. After I slaughter they better and it's going to be hard to stay relevant. Submit you, heard you got a car bomb put in your Hummer. Oh, wait, shit, never mind, that's your brother. Hey, fool. You can be fucked up, Bessie. This big Sergio, fool. They call me the Phenom Puto. Hey, you call me faking now. It's time to beat your culo. Brandon Moreno is a pinchy pudo. Chupin' me huevos when you chupin' my nudo. Pinchy pudo. Hey, fuck Brandon and fuck it, you kid too. He ain't about to choke me out. I'm about to choke this dude. He thinks he can submit me up in Mexico City. I'ma do him like police did and leave this boy shitty. Then I'm gone. I promise I've been getting sick of this motherfucker, crackhead, dick pill ass looking boy. I'm about to have to serve him up. Hey, give me a number three. Large size, extra fries. John Jones in love with the coco. He shoot that shit right through his nose, nose. Then he sandblast blast all the hoes, hoes. John Jones in love with the Coco. John Jones is a bitch. John Jones got limp dick. Or is it just them steroids, ho? Anywhere you see some coke, you see John Jones. Look, there he go. There he is, ho. Gus of some beach, you fucking crackhead. Had you in the hospital, snapping pics, looking half dead. And that first fight was a flu. Oh shit, I ate too much. I think I'm about to puke. Yeehaw! Hell yeah, DJ, I fucking like this song real quick. Let me say, Mikey got me all wrong. See this right here now? This is an accent. And with or without it, I'm about to kick your ass, bitch. That was a low blow when you said I fucked my sister. Would it be a low blow if I said you're a... It's Iron Mike Perry known to knock your hero out On September 16th I'm about to knock Tiago Alves He think he fucking with me but Tiago not my spouse Pause I'm the hardest hitter Tiago was ever saw Black belt with these hands if they touch I'm gonna break your jaw It's Mike Platinum Perry like Tyson I have him scared of me No biting I hope you're there next week No lullaby prepare to sleep And we out this bitch Tiago Alves is a you know. Hey, Damien Maya, it's the king. I know you're gonna try to ride me like a. But you know why I ain't having that. Do you know you're human or do you really think that you're a. I think it's the latter, hope. Bitch, I graduated. I ain't going back to having no. Drop him right in front of all of y'all. He ain't about to do me like he did my boy, Young Masvidal. Excuse me, Mr. Woodley. You're talking to me stupid. I think you need some more schooling. You can call
Call me Robert with a girl, call me Robert, get your girl Scuffle with your well Romero, bout to fuck up his whole world You think that I'm scary, yeah I'm not Michael Bisping You think that you hit hard while I'm thinking that your shit's weak You think that you hit hard, introduce you to Mark Hunt He don't like them cheaters and I heard that you are one Illegal knees and deep breath, seen that fucking water stunt You always gotta cheat because your cardio it sucks Steroids in your ass right through your stretch marks I'm about to beat your ass, you just signed your death warrant Hey, I need you out my way, Hey, I'll beat you, I'm just saying Hey, you think I'm easy prey? Hey, so did Jacare If you think you won that first fight, then you can kiss these balls You fucked around and got a rematch with Amanda Want a rematch with Amanda, then you're gonna need the hanger Cause Amanda fuck around and beat a bitch till she can't stand up You think Amanda's fuck around, then why don't you go ask Misha's fan club Or how about Ronda Rousey, I break everyone around me's wheel In the cage, I pound and kill him when I'm walking out and still Bellator, I'm reppin' Bellator, Bellator, Bellator I'm reppin' Bellator, Bellator, Bellator I'm reppin' Bellator, Bellator, Bellator I'm reppin' Bellator, look Dana White, you found a fight You said some shit that I ain't like about Bellator So now it's time to back it up, now grab the mic You slap the fighters with the Reebok feel And treat them like some fools I ask the fighters how the people feel So people think I'm cool Yeah, Scott, Coca, baby, you ain't fucking with us I'm like a stock broker, baby, and I'm running it up Go get your pot holders, baby, I'm like the oven to touch And you can get Connor or Tony playing in my channel Fucking him up Whoa, whoa there, Scott Whoa, what the fuck? Maybe when you smoke your pie, you shouldn't smoke so much Because I know that you're high Michael Chandler would die Against Connor or Tony Homie, so don't even try Now should I keep it with you Or should I get on your roster? Even Jimmy Smith is just a roster imposter You got James Gallagher He just wanna be Connor You got Rory McDonald Only cause we didn't want him You see, Scott Coker, me and you We are not kosher I'll fucking fight for that pussy Got me training all night for that pussy It ain't nothing better than that pussy Shit, I'll take on Brock Lesnar for that pussy Put a man on deck for that pussy I'll break your fucking neck for that pussy Take on Travis Brown for that pussy Caraway is going down for that pussy I'll skip jujitsu for that pussy Fuck a fight, I'll pull a pistol for that pussy I'll strike with silver for that pussy Please don't push me, I'm a killer for that pussy I'll take you on a date for that pussy Outback shrimp and steak for that pussy Fuck it, I'ma pay for that pussy BDS him, I'm a slave for that pussy Full time MMA for that pussy I'ma entertain for that pussy <laughs> With so much drama in this day and age, it's kinda hard being full-time MMA, but I somehow, some way, keep coming up with content for my hitters like every single day. Now let's get to this nigga Snoop. Disrespecting McGregor, thinking that that shit was cute. Calling Connor a bitch, well what the fuck does that make you? You ain't no big dog, old nigga, you a pooch. And keep it real, Connor didn't even fucking lose. Fuck the Mayweather's made a million off them dudes. And that's in a pillow fight. Boxing ain't no real fight. How he get knocked out, still walk out looking like a million likes. Snoop, I think you sipping too much gin and juice, cause something's gotten into you. What the fuck you thinking, dissing one other dude's getting you paid? Now a lot of people don't like you. Got them on Twitter yelling hashtag fire Snoop. Bitch! Yeah, I started in the back, had to skip the line, no When your fucking shit was whack, it's my fucking time, bro Yeah, you thought that we would pay you out your fucking mind, bro Take your shit to Patreon and we gon' say goodbye, bro Nigga, fuck $20 a month, rather smoke a $20 blunt It ain't gon' make me or break me, come in the comments acting crazy You don't face me, ain't gon' block him like a bitch We ain't gon' block him like a beta Hit her army over here and y'all at Starbucks sharing bagels Sipping lattes and shit, oh yeah, and Oscar's a bitch And the beast, he a female too, I'm talking about Vegeta too You roll Rollin' with the other side, we sit and watch you fuckers die Drowning in gorilla piss, I know the hitters feelin' this Fuck you tap mad dude, and we just tap mad news By them it may and we gon' stay even if you come back, dude Fuck you tap mad dude Fuck you tap mad dude, let's go And no, it ain't over, Aaron Burrell's extended So I'ma keep going till this thing's over a troll came to me talking about my karma Wanna talk about my karma, bitch, let's talk about my mom I grew up around them hoes and pimps, that's why I'm so legit And so no, I won't quit, I'ma open doors with this shit I'm like John Jones with this shit, I'm a young goat in this bitch But I don't do coker hit chicks <laughs> Nigga, this is what that jungle do This the type of shit that'll humble you That shutdown turned me to a monster That shutdown made me go harder Nigga, this is what that jungle do this the type of shit that'll humble you 
That shutdown turned me to a monster That shutdown made me go harder Nigga, this is what that jungle do This the type of shit that'll humble you That shutdown turned me to a monster That shutdown made me go harder False flags, cause y'all mad Full time MMA, so them haters can fall back And stay up our ball sacks MMA talk and call back And I'll say that they all whack I'm curious, are these bagel biting goofs delirious? Do they think these false flags and spoofs are putting fear in us? I seriously hope that you don't think that you're prepared for us You couldn't even scare a fucking banker if you had a gun Real quick, I'd like to thank you cause I'm having fun Lil bitch, I'm a gangster like my last name's Sonny What the fuck you thinking, thinking that we done? Bitch, it's full time MMA and it has just begun Nigga, this is what that jungle do This the type of shit that'll humble you that shutdown turned me to a monster. That shutdown made me go harder. This is long overdue. Oh man, I don't even know how this is gonna go. Just in case this is your first time hearing one of these, I'm about to make this shit up off the top of my head, but I'm telling you what, Polly McNigley has been talking shit. He's been talking shit, and Conor McGregor paid him to come in there and shoot his fucking mouth. He's been tweeting like a motherfucking bird on Twitter. Tweet, tweet, probably want a cracker and shit. Conor McGregor's there. He's got the check in his hand. You know, he's like, he's he, he's already in the gym. He's just sitting in the ring, you know, just sitting there like he, uh, after a hard day's work. Conor McGregor's just sitting in the ring with the check in his hand. Polly McGiggles walks up to the ring. He's like, what's up, champ, champ? He's like, what's up, McGiggles? He's like, hey, McGoogle, you know that ain't my name, man. He's like, Polly McGiggly, if you don't come take this check, I'm really pissed off. What? I thought we were cool. I didn't say we were cool. I said you could suck these big Irish balls. I got your money, but you can take your bitch ass home. He said, whoa, whoa, dog. Come on, man. I was just going to say, I kind of stands up. He said, I was just going to say that if you want, man, I, 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 I probably can still show you a thing or two, you know. About the sweet science Conor McGregor just looks at it like What the fuck did you just say to me He says I was just thinking man I mean I'll give you the first two days free And as long as you don't drop me more than three times each day Those are completely free But you know the next ten I gotta charge you double He's like Whoa this fucking weasel This fucking showtime weasel He's got flashbacks to the press conference now He's got flashbacks to the tweets now He said he got I gotta get Hit whimper like a girl when I get hit to the body Connors have a flashback He's like what the fuck Hey Gig oh my god The motherfucking spinning heel kick Holy shit Polly McGoogle got it Now he's on the floor What the fuck Connor McGregor fucking did it He's having flashbacks and shit Dude He triggered Connor McGregor No Polly Now Polly don't want to crack And Polly was a referee Polly was a judge Polly was a help Hell money Ariel Helwani was fired from McGregor Mayweather duties at the UFC's request. And a lot of people are like, damn, Dana White don't like Ariel. What the fuck? Leave him alone, bro. That's because they don't know the backstory. Walk with me. You see, everyone's getting, lets Ariel Helwani play the victim. Everyone fucking buys that Ariel Helwani's the victim. He's not a victim. He's fucking smart. I fuck with Ariel. Dana White was walking on stage and he seen Ariel in the, in the fucking row and he was like, what the fuck is he doing here, dude? But he wasn't going to do anything. He wasn't going to fire him. He was going to let it slide. He was going to let him be press. He's like, you're press. I'm a boss. I don't fucking, I don't got time for you, dude. He don't like him, but he, he wasn't going to fucking fire his ass. He wasn't going to get him kicked out. But this is where Ariel outsmarted everybody. As soon as he locked eyes with Dana White, he flinched at him like, what, motherfucker, what? <laughs> Ariel Hawani did that to Dana White, like, what, motherfucker, what? And he flipped him off. Like, MMA hour, motherfucker. He flipped Dana White off. And Dana was like, oh, hell no. Nah. Who the fuck does he think he is? Somebody get him the fuck out of here. Hey, I know I know, I don't got, I, I don't run the show. I know you ain't going to let me kick Brendan Schaub off. But please, can we get him the fuck out of here? Because he just, he's trying to start some shit. I and mean, this whole fight's gonna get canceled if I go down there and I beat Ariel Helwani's ass. So somebody better fucking get that guy off the premises. As a matter of fact, I don't want him in London, I don't want him in New York, and I don't want him anywhere on these press rows. So get him the fuck out of here. Please. Respectfully, Showtime. And they said, you know what, Dana White? We don't want you to have to go find a fight in the press row. We don't want you to have to go put lay the fucking smack down on Ariel Helwani.
But, but, sorry, Dana, we don't control that. Once he's hired, he's hired. We signed a contract with him, and if we were to fire him now, we would get sued. So you're just going to have to sit there, buddy, and you're going to have to have thick skin, and you're going to have to understand. And by the way, I don't think you're going to do shit anyway, Dana. Let's be honest. You're a professional. Dana White looks, looks at the fucking guy, and he cracks his fucking neck like, Are you sure you don't want to fucking get this guy out of here? Because he's only about two rows back. And the way I see it, it's only going to take me about two seconds, two skips, two hops, and two jumps to get to that motherfucker's ass. And the fucking, the Showtime representative says, now you're talking about the nice gentleman right there with the big nose, right? He's like, yeah, that motherfucker, he's been taunting me, man. I looked over there earlier and he taunted me. And he's like, I don't think that's that was him, man, because he's one of the most respectful, polite people I've met all day. So I'm sorry, Dana, we can't fire him. Unless he touches you or or something. I'm sorry, man. Please, why would you want to ruin millions of dollars over a fucking journalist supposedly taunting you? He's one of the nicest people you'll ever meet, Dana. I think you need to just rethink things. And Dana's like, all right, but if that motherfucker does anything else, if, if, he, so much as, if he so much as winks at me, I'm taking off. Zero to 100 real quick. It's go time. It's over for that motherfucker. And I'll deal with the repercussions later. And the guy says, whatever, Dana. <laughs> and he walks off. He walks off to behind the curtain. Dana White looks back at Ariel Helwani, makes sure he was still being cool, being polite. Ariel Helwani's in full attack. He's in go mode. Ariel Helwani wants to get fired because he knows it'll turn him into a headline. He knows he won't have to travel. He knows he's going to get days off. And he knows it's going to be bigger than him getting to ask Conan Floyd a couple questions. So he's trying to get fired. He's looking at Dana. He's motherfucking taunting Dana. He's fucking putting his fucking hands under his armpits like a monkey. Like, ooh, ooh you know, <laughs> doing crazy shit. He's fucking flipping Dana off. He just hit Dana with the motherfucking suck it. The D-Generation X Xbox. He's like, suck it, bitch, suck it. And well, he flipped him off again. <laughs> Dana White's fucking head. Head is red. Steam's flying out of his whole fucking face is red. Ariel Wani, Ariel Helwani moves up to the front row and he's like, Hey Dana White, that's why I fucked your bitch, you fat motherfucker. Get money. <laughs> and Dana White fucking takes off off the stage and he fucking just jump in clotheslines Ariel Helwani he tries to, but Ariel Helwani is a jukes out the way. Dana White didn't think Ariel Helwani had motherfucking, he didn't think Ariel Helwani had foot movement. He didn't think Ariel Helwani trained at all. He didn't think Ariel Helwani knew anything about this MMA. He didn't take Ariel Helwani seriously. So Dana White's fucking face first, he just ate shit and, and fucking press row. Dana White just fucking bumped his face on press row and he motherfucking busted his own nose. He was going after Ariel, but now he gets up, he's pissed. His face is red. He's got blood coming out of his nose. And he's like, Ariel, fuck you, you son of a bitch. You motherfucking prick. Get your ass over here. Ariel Helwani's he's like, Dana White, whoa, what's going on? Everybody, somebody get him. This is uncalled for. He just tried to attack me. Someone get him, but it's too late. Dana White's already fucking full-fledged charging toward him. And Dana White fucking has him. He fucking grabs his ass. He fucking... He takes his back real fast, and he's like, listen here, you motherfucker, he's whispering in his ear, damn near, you're about to go for a ride, and he motherfucking suplex, boom, backward suplex, motherfucking Ariel Helwani, like Rory McDonald did Nate Diaz multiple times in round three, he fucking picks Ariel Helwani back up, slams his ass, Ariel's like, oh, somebody help, oh, boom, and he gets fucking slammed again, his fucking head hits the ground, the back of the head, you know that shit'll take you out, one more of those, and Ariel's probably fucking going out, and Dana Hawaii, Dana White, I'm about to call him Dana Hill White. Dana, Dana White picks his ass up for the third slam. And fucking security rushes in. They're like, stop it, Dana. And he's like, fuck you. He fucking boom. He fucking takes Aaron Hill White for one more ride of his fucking life. And the fucked up part is this time Aaron Hill White is out. Yo, Torres is like, don't even say that shit to me. I'm supposed to be talking to you. Don't even say the B word around me. All right, dude. Scott Cruz is like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't think this guy uh, knows who I am, but I'm going to go ahead and let that slide. I'm just going to get in the back seat. Scott Coker gets in the back seat, and he puts on his fucking Beats headphones. <laughs> the new Conor McGregor edition. <laughs> <You know? laughs> no, he don't got the Conor McGregor edition. He's got them James Gallagher's on. <laughs> he don't got on the Conor's. He's got on the Gallagher's. So Scott Coker, he puts his Gallagher's on. And he's banging some shit. He's, he's listening to his own verse again. He, he said that shit was pretty hot. He listens to that shit to get him motivated. So he's listening to his own diss track. He's just jamming that shit the whole way to Mansion 2. Until they pull up to Mansion 2. 
Stipe looks in the gate in the eye center. The eye, it scans his eyes. It lets him in the gate. <laughs> and they pull up to Mansion 2. Scott's like, damn, Mansion 1's pretty nice. I've never been out here. Stipe's like, wait till you see Mansion 2. And shut the fuck up. I thought I told you I can't talk to you. <laughs> so Scott Coker, he just chills. But he's got something planned. <laughs> Scott Coker gets out of the back of the out of the back of the <laughs> Scott Coker gets out of the back of the vehicle. <laughs> On his way out, he slaps Stipe in the back of the head. <laughs> he just taps him like, "Bitch, don't ever fucking talk to me like that." <laughs> but see, Stipe was giving the orders. He once he pulls in the mansion and lets Scott Coker out, he's not supposed to get out the car, and he's also not supposed to cause any harm to Scott Coker. So you just gotta let that fucking shit slide. That slap to the back of his head. <laughs> Scott Coker did it like a, like a G, though. He did it right on the way out of the car, like, pop. <laughs> so there wasn't really too much Steve Bay could do. <laughs> Anyways, let's get to the business meeting. Oh, Dana! What happened to the pay-per-view point? What happened to being nice? What happened to not bullying me, Dana? Dan said, I'm not fucking bullying you. I swear to God, if you say that, say that word again, I'm going to have Big Francis really come over there and bully you, dude. Now, you're fighting or what? Because I'm getting pissed off, D DJ. You're saying all the wrong shit. You said everything except for, yes, El Jefe, I'm fighting TJ. Now, what do you got to say, Demetrius? And Demetrius says, Dana, please. I didn't bring my manager. I didn't bring any bodyguards. As a matter of fact, I didn't bring anything but these hands. <laughs> he said, yes, I, I like Francis and Stipe, but you're really disrespecting me. And as the pound for pound best fighter in the world, I, I can't let you do that as a man. And then I said, dude, this ain't the time for that tough talk. You and I both know I got you by 75 pounds and you will not run that shit this way. Demetrius, I told you you're saying all the wrong things. You just said a whole bunch of bullshit that wasn't yes, El Jefe. I will fight TJ Dillashaw on August in August at UFC 215. Now I'm gonna give you one more fucking chance, you little fucking turd. <laughs> this is Dana. This is crazy. I know. I can't believe I got the inside scoop. <laughs> Demetrius says, Dana, you know what? I'm not fighting TJ. And I'll tell you what. Go ahead and fold the division. I'll go to Bellator. Dana heard that fucking word and he fucking flipped the table. He said, what did you just say? Did you just fucking say Bellator in my office? <laughs> Dana's fucking red. His head is red. His fucking whole face is red. He's hot. He's pissed. He's foaming at the mouth. He's looking at Demetrius like prey. He said, I'm the predator. Francis is behind me. Francis steps forward, though. This, this is the crazy part. Dana flipped the table. Francis stepped forward. He went to lunge at Demetrius. And Dana said, no. No, Ngannou. No, boy. I'm just fucking around. I'm just fucking around, dog. He said, Francis, no. I don't need you for this one. Thank you for fucking putting them hands on Mark Hunt earlier. But for this one, I'll handle this one. Hey, Demetrius. Me and you right fucking now run that shit, dude. Demetrius is already in his fucking little stance. He already done did his mighty mouse swirl twiffle. As soon as Dana flipped the table, he was flipping. He was doing his flip. He, he already did. Demetrius is ready. You thought he didn't have a man on deck, but it's about to go down. Demetrius versus Dana White. Demetrius tries to give him one more chance. He says, Dana, this does not need to happen. Once this happens, it will be irreversible. We will not, I'm telling you, Dana, I'm going to beat your ass. I'm just going to leave right now, as a matter of fact. I'm going to turn and I'm going to walk away and just, get, just sign my walking papers, dude. I'll go to Bellator. He fucked up. He said Bellator again. <laughs> Did he say, what the fuck? Did you just say the fuck that? You ain't going nowhere. Dude, Demetrius is walking toward the door because he really doesn't want to fight El Hippie. 
He's walking toward the door. Dana White's fucking too fast. Dana White's like a motherfucking cheetah. I don't know what he's been on. I don't think Dana White's getting tested by USADA because as fast as he got to that fucking door and slammed it shut, ooh, Demetrius jumped back within a stance. Like, whoa! You almost shut my fucking fingers in the door, Dana! <laughs> Dana fucking throws a blow. He throws a punch. Boom, it connects. Oh, Demetrius is like, what the fuck? He wasn't he wasn't expecting Dana White to have that much power. Demetrius gotta shake it off. Ooh. Demetrius throws a couple. Boom, boom, boom. He throws a one-two to the body, followed by a, uh, a leg kick to the body. Boom! I said leg kick to the body. <laughs> He, th he throws it. He throws a combo on Dana White. Dana White's not fucking phased though. Whoa! It's like it's like Demetrius Johnson's fighting an Iron Man or some shit. It's just bouncing off like irons, hurting Demetrius' fist. He's like, what the fuck? He's now he's going fast. He's it's like he's hitting the motherfucking speed bag. And he's just throwing combos at Dana White, and Dana White's just got his hands on his hips, like. <laughs> What the fuck did you think was gonna happen, you little turd? Demetrius is getting tired. He's like, what the fuck? It's like one of the movies, bro, where you keep hitting him and nothing's happening. It's like he's invincible. It's crazy shit going on. D Demetrius is tired. He's starting to feel weird. He's like, what the hell's going on? Is this real life? What's going on? What's going on, Dana? He tries to, he tries to fucking punch Dana in the fucking face, and Dana laughs. He smiles. <laughs> you just fucked up. They like fucking backhands to meet you, Johnson. Boom! Ow! That shit hurt more than he thought it would, too. Oh, he backhanded him. Fuck. Steep A and Francis are in the back laughing. <laughs> I hear Francis in the back. I got 50 on Dana. And Steep says, I ain't giving you no free money. Of course, Dana's about to whoop his ass, dude. Meanwhile, Demetrius is just in awe, shocked, out of breath, looking at Dana White. He's scared for he's scared now. He doesn't know how far he doesn't know how far Dana's gonna take it. Dana! I'm sorry! What's going on? I swear I won't go to bed and do it! Dana White says, What the fuck <laughs> did you just say? Boo! Takes fucking Demetrius, he almost takes Demetrius' head off his fucking shoulders with the overhand right. Demetrius is unconscious. Demetrius is unconscious. It's not a good scene. The only people that got to see this scene were Francis Ngannou, Stipe Miocic, Dana White, and us. No one else knows about this shit. Still. So this is what, this is how the shit ended up playing out. It's a sad story. I'm going to tell you right now. Dana White woke Demetrius Johnson up and he knocked him back out. I know. I know. That shit is sad, bro. He's too little, you're thinking. Dana White was invincible. He didn't even hurt Dana White. Why did he wake him up? Oh, and knock him out for a third time. God damn, Dana. Fuck. We walk right by the patio. And I go, boom, boom, boom. And x crom knows that's the motherfucking sign. Man on deck. He fucking, he hits, he hits number one with the motherfucking cold overhand right Tyron Woodley style. Lays him out, but he's not knocked out. Lucky it wasn't fucking a precision. She has rubbing clean now. Oscar says, Oscar's there. He's freaking out. He says, oh my God, you spilled my latte. <laughs> What the fuck? Drinkies, are you okay? And he's holding his fucking head. No, he's not okay, bitch. Does he look okay? And I look at you and I say, I point at you like a motherfucking undertaker or some shit. I say, bitch, do you want any of this? Oscar said, no! <laughs> and he fucking takes off. Leaves you fucking stranded. Cause that's the type of people you roll with. We got hitters on deck. We've been plotting this shit. We got info from ASB. Chad and Lena on deck. Sudoku player came through. He's in the bathroom waiting. x crimes already laid you out. And I'm talking that shit. Like, pussy, what'd you think was gonna happen? You, you think you can motherfucking just disrespect all these fucking people? And everybody was gonna be okay with it? 
you think you can take donations from people for to support your channel and then shut the channel down? You think that shit's cool? Soccer fucking kick. Boom! Somehow he's still not out. Respect. <laughs> Extron picks him up though. He says, hey, now let me tell you something. This is from the fucking hitters. We really don't appreciate none of that bullshit you did. I don't I hope you don't fucking think you're ever making a comeback. And no. And he kicks him in the dick. <laughs> Now and now, number one's leaned over. He's leaned over, and I think in my head, <laughs> this would be the perfect opportunity for a stunner. <laughs> so I do it. I fucking stone cold Steve stun this big nigga. Yeah. Then he fucking bounces up and he fucking falls backward, just like the old days. And he's laying down now. Now he's out. Now he's out. <laughs> Suroki player comes charging out the fucking bathroom like, -ra 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 -ra. I'm like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> and he dumps a gorilla piss over your fucking little limp, knocked out fucking <laughs> skinny frame. <laughs> Motherfucking, and that's not all. That's not all. What nobody knew, I kept it a secret. I had Derrick OTFD waiting. He was working at the Starbucks. He put an application as soon as we got the information. He comes out with this camera. He takes a picture. And he says, fuck y'all, I quit. I was just here for this. This moment. He flies back to Spain. He puts the fucking image in his computer. He hooks it up, he does what he does, he fucks it up, makes a beastie ass logo like he does, puts it on a banner, and now we got a fucking meme of the old with gorilla piss all over him. The beast, his walkout music comes out. I'm a Barbie girl. <laughs> In a Barbie world. The beast walks out, <laughs> switching and shit. <laughs> One foot in front of the other and shit. MMA talks behind him like, Hey, I thought this was my walkout song. <laughs> hey, what the hell, dude? This is my walkout song. The Beast said, No. Man, fuck it. Just come with me. So they hold hands to the ring. The, the, the ring, the, the rules are, you start off, the Royal Rumble goes like this. Four people start off in the ring, and whoever gets thrown out of the ring is out. Once one person gets thrown out of the ring, the next troll runs to the ring. And the last man standing in the ring wins the prize they win a chance at giving the old guy quick hits one some fellatio if they're the last man or woman in the ring in Kelly's case we don't know what it is ding 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 <laughs> quick hits one is coming out to Stone Cold Steve Austin's fucking music what the fuck dude <laughs> Why didn't you come out to your old music? Oh yeah, because that's my fucking music now. <laughs> he's walking now. He's in a fucking Ray Mysterio mask because he's anonymous as hell. And Kelly and fucking Quick Spitzer and all, they drop to their knees. Oh my god, it's the king! He walks out, he gets in the ring. <laughs> What's up, guys? Back at it with the only twenty dollar channel a month that fucking matters. Patreon quick hits two. He's like, damn, wait, I'm not even number two. I've just been listening to the good channel too long. <laughs> He's like, so it's you two left. You both are battling to suck my dick, huh? Well, I tell you what, I'm gonna jump in the fight, and if I win, I get to suck your dick. <laughs> Quick Spitz Wall says, what? No! I will never let you suck my dick. That's not alpha, bro. I don't even know how I'm going to beat Kelly. I can't put my hands on her. That's not alpha. That's a woman. Quick Spitz Wall says, what? Do you not know what alpha means? Uh, alpha goes for the weakest, the weakest fucking sheep on deck. 
Uh, Alpha goes for the weakest target available. You better fucking get Kelly if you really want to shut this dick. Get her. <laughs> I told y'all this dude don't know what the fuck Alpha means. He said some shit Alpha means going after the weakest target. Nah, dude. Alpha is not backing down. Alpha's having a man on deck, you fucking confused weirdo. Fuck you, Tam Matt. Uh, Alpha is the top dog. Alpha don't go for the weakest target. Alpha is the strongest target, so everybody is the weakest target. Fuck you, Tam Matt. D Bye, Felicia.